hello there. Oh, come on, bucko. Well, hello there, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Corbin Does Something. Oh, you might notice that we are in the kitchen again. Now you're thinking, oh man, this is going to be a boring video about cooking, or oh, this is going to be a boring video about cooking keto food. Oh, it's going to be a boring video. Well, one of those three is probably right. Doing things with my hands. So, as you know, I've been doing keto since June. It is now February 7th. I think it's Super Bowl Sunday, actually. This video obviously will come out in a few weeks or a month. I don't really know. I went out and finally bought myself some clothes so you can see. Woo, look at that. Like, oh, hey. You look like you love commitment. Oh, boy. Hey, what you got under that Ooh. shirt, sweetie? Look at that. So, we have this big pan here. And, uh, well, here's some oil. So, I decided to celebrate by getting some pizza. That sounds about right. That's right, we have mozzarella pizzas. We're doing this in here because my office is currently being renovated. That's a lie. I, I made a big mess working on my desk. So we have mozzarellas. We have the pizza I've been craving ever since I started coming to this place. This is this place where I first had keto pizza and it made me stick to keto. It is the first pizza that I've had that wasn't keto when I decided to reintroduce some regular pizza in every once in a while for you, mostly me. They have the big mozzarella pizza. It's the mozzarella from mozzarellas. And boy, is it a lot. Look at this. This is a deep dish pizza that is supposed to be loaded with mozzarella, loaded with sauce, everything. Yeah, this is, this is mouthwatering. So what I wanted to do to celebrate my goals, I've, I've lost 50 pounds, I'm down to a size 30 waist, and medium shirts, like holy crap, I, I don't think I've ever worn a medium. <laughs> so let's uh, go ahead, let's take a look at this. This pizza here comes with up to four toppings. I only did pepperoni and bacon. I'm happy with that. I'm going to end up giving the rest of this pizza probably to my, uh, my, my family. I'm gonna run over there after this is over and give it to them. Let me bring this up to the camera so you can see this goodness here. Look at this. Look at it, oh man. Oh, I just dripped sauce all over the floor. Anyways, I wanted to go ahead and try this. Mozzarella is, is a, a, a great place, and I love it. So if you're in the metro Detroit area, make sure you stop over there. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Mmm. Wow. That is good. The uh, crust is almost perfectly cooked. It's not burnt but it's nice and crispy. The bacon, the cheese, all of it is just, oh man, it's so good. I think everyone would enjoy this. There's so much cheese on this. The right amount of grease. I will say there is a bit of an excess of the sauce, but that's part of the pizza. This is absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend it. It is $25 for this pizza, but it is so, like, I can feel how filling it is. This is going to kill me. Yeah, this is so good. Mm. I haven't had a deep dish pizza in forever. This is something else. It's out of this world. Again, guys, if you like mozzarellas, I mean, if you like, if you like pizza and you're in the area, mozzarellas is the way to go. If you like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know of areas around Metro Detroit with really good pizzas. I mean, I am interested and trying a few more deep dish pizzas. This is not going to be part of Pizza World Tour. Pizza World Tour is a round pizza, a cheese and pepperoni 
basic. That keeps it even on every field. But I will give this one, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 on pizza. It is a little pricey. It's uh, 8 slices for $25, so it is a little pricey. But at the same time, I get the keto pizza, add on extra cheese, pepperoni, and jalapenos quite a bit. And that ends up being about 17 bucks. Whereas this is way more pizza, way more filling. I think one slice will just, well, it'll definitely fill me up because I don't eat this much anymore. But wow, this is some solid product here. Hopefully this was an exciting video for you. And if it's not, maybe I'll make things flash in the edit. Hopefully I come up with something for, for that movement. Oh, this is so good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quit filming now and leave to go to uh, see my mom and my little brothers. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And again, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Fire. You like me yet?